What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I uh, just picked up this iPulse case from Amazon. You can also go to iPulseCases.com and I want to show it to you here because I'm it's looking for something sexy, fashionable for my iPhone 7 Plus. So I actually picked up a few of them and I want to show them and uh, hook you guys up too. So uh, let me uh, just give you a quick tour of this one. This one's called like Vintage Black and as you can see, it's kind of like a long wallet. Let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Um, from Dallas, Texas, iPulse cases. I think they said they advertise themselves as starting in Plano. And there's some kind of telltale Texas things here that you're not going to be able to know without me showing you. So first of all, like I said, it's kind of like a long wallet. Uh, will fit the iPhone 7 Plus. As you can see here, just a really beautiful leather. In fact, what kind of makes this stand out is, to me, Texans know how to do leather. It is, it's like... It's smooth, it's kind of glossy, it's got beautiful, you know, pebbling and texture on it. The stitching is fantastic, it's in black. Um, you know, it, it seems really high quality, kind of a finished edge all the way around, and seems substantial, like, you know, I, 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 somehow it has like a stiffness that I don't understand what, how some leather companies, you know, whether it's hats or wallets or shoes or whatever, you know, seem to get right. You can see stitching all the way around a big cut out here for your window. You can see a little bit of a seam, and it's not a seam so much as it is a kind of a fold spot where you can fold the back here where it's going to be able to stand up like a stand. iPulse case uh, branded or embossed right there. And then stitching here where kind of you get the book cover end or it looks like it's a little reinforced. And then inside you have a, you know, a soft-ish, really thin case. You know, iPhone 7 because no headphone jack and obviously the big cutout here. But it's in black, molded in buttons and opening for the mute or, and volume rocker and then a power button right there. And then on this side you have like wallet features. So you have a full length pocket right here where you could certainly put in things. And then you have like credit card, business card pockets, one, two, and three of them. And I would call this one an ID holder where your wallet will go and... Uh, you know, it's windowed there with clear plastic. So, you know, credit cards, library cards, key cards, whatever you may need. And then on the inside here, you have kind of the underside of the, uh, you know, the, the treated leather. Just super soft, you know, very suede-like, is which is what you'd expect. Now, as I put the phone in here, I want to explain to you why I'm kind of giving them a little Texas credit. Because when I went to Texas... One time, and I went to Dallas, and I also went to Fort Worth. They're different towns, you know, which the Texans will remind you. Um, you know, they had just tons of leather products from, you know, one of the things I remember is like saddles and uh, really cool, um, just amazing work done on even saddles and boots and things like that. Now, it's not necessarily my thing, but this what you can't tell, what I can tell on this uh, case in front of me here, what you can't tell through the video is it smells unbelievable. I mean... This smells like you just walked into a leather goods store, you know, when it's just kind of overwhelming. It's got that kind of rich, smoky leather smell. I mean, I pulled this out of the the, the little kind of Tyvek uh, pouch here and just, I mean, it just oozes the aroma of like a rich, high quality leather. I wish I could show you. Smell it. Smell it. Um, that's one thing that has set this apart and the other iPods cases, which I picked up, hint, hint, uh, from, you know, the other leather cases I've looked at that feel good, look good, but don't have that rich leather smell. I mean, when you get this, you tell me. Come back here and comment and say, Panda, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Or Panda, you full of crap. You you decide. Anyway, here's how this little kickstand works. So first of all, look at the back there. Camera, flash, microphone, more than enough space in that cutout. Fits perfectly. The phone is nice and secure, especially on black. You know, my phone kind of fades away in that. It almost looks like a, uh, you know, a long wallet. But how the kickstand works is just simply just like that. This back end folds up and you can put your phone just like this. Have a Bluetooth keyboard type on it. Sitting on a train or sitting on an airplane, watch a movie. You know, read your email, whatever you want to do. I mean, this is this is pretty trick in that you've got a key or a kickstand without actually having to have kind of like an awkward, uh, ugly kickstand. It just... It's the way it folds up. It's like, kind of like the smart cover on the iPads. Put it back like this, folds down, uh, super nice. 
no magnet because or actually there is like a little magnet uh, somewhere in here and I can feel it kind of it's not enough to hold the 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 door shut but I can feel that there's something kind of creating a little bit of pull there but again because the iPhone isn't meant for smart covers there's no kind of wake on open feature on it but really cool I think it's really beautiful I wish you could sniff this thing with me give it a little snort you're gonna have to take my word on it but this vintage what they call the kind of vintage leather and black case from iPulse cases is amazing I mean it's amazing it's intoxicating but uh, I want to give one of these bad boys away and I want to get, hook you guys up with the iPhone 7 Plus and reward you for getting the best smartphone in the world. So uh, here's how we're going to do this bad boy. Uh, I'm going to give this one away on April 15th, 2017. That's a Saturday. So like this video, subscribe to my channel, share these videos, man. Uh, the more views that we can pick up on these things, the, the better stuff I can acquire and hook you guys up with. So, um, you know, help me out. The Panda appreciates it. So uh, April 15th, like, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and then comment below. You can comment anything you want. Uh, just put the country that you live in somewhere in the comment. USA or Canada are the only countries that I can afford to ship these products to at the moment. And then on the 15th of April, I will pick one of you to receive this. If you don't want it, you know, you could also put that in the comment and say, hey, I wanted to comment on this. And Panda, you're, you're a chump. You're an, you're an Apple fanboy chump. So don't send me this if uh, my comment is the one that gets picked by the random comment picker. Okay? That'll save me some time. All right. Vintage black iPhone 7 Plus case from iPulse cases. Peter Von Panda. Out!